Columbia Emergency Department. My night shift is going to be from 8 p.m. to 8 a.m., so it's going to be a 12-hour shift. Um, as a third year or fourth year resident, your shifts can be eight hours or 12 hours. So um, today it's going to be a 12 hour shift. So I work at two different campuses, so Cornell and Columbia. Um, and those places are very different um, hospitals. So I think partially because they're in different neighborhoods, even though they're both in Manhattan. Um, Cornell is in Upper East Side, um, and Columbia is in Washington Heights uh, at the top of Manhattan. Um, so you see a really a, a wide variety of different types of patients who speak different languages, uh, have different needs, um, and have different kind of like primary care access and things like that. So um, I think having access to those two places really like makes you a very well-rounded physician by the end of your four years. So um, it's nice to kind of break up your ED block between like Cornell and Columbia and you really get very different uh, experiences uh, at those two places. So I think my commute in total takes probably about 40 to 45 minutes depending on the bus schedule. Um, and then that's to Columbia and then to, uh, to Cornell usually takes about 20 to 25 minutes. I need my caffeine, I need my caffeine, go get my coffee, I need my coffee. So after I get to the hospital, I usually stop by the deli that's right outside to pick up my caffeine of choice, Monster, and my lime flavored Lay's, and a type of sour candy, which is my favorite. I usually try to indulge a little bit on one of these night shifts because night shifts are hard. So overnight tends to be a little less busy, so there's good opportunities for teaching in between some of the cases that we see. So in this clip, we're going over some ultrasound techniques and EKGs with our program director, Dr. Garg. And it's a, and it's a nightstick fracture, and you ask the patient, did, hurt did somebody you? hurt for you and did somebody injure you? And that's where you, many times I've found out somebody's like, oh no, I fell, and in fact they had um, they've been assaulted. It's 2.47 right now. We're having a lot of fun. <laughs> Dr. Jamie Lee just ran a very, very good uh, resuscitation in our yes. trauma bay. And I'm working with uh, Oz Cyan, who is our APD. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so we're right now in the doc box. Um, this is Area C of Columbia Emergency Department. Um, there's glass around, so we have a little bit of protection. So when I'm not physically seeing patients at their bedside, there's a lot of things that I have to do on the computer. And these things include placing orders, communicating with nurses, writing my notes, and also talking to the inpatient team about patients that are being admitted. Oh, yes. oh, we're done with our shift. Yeah. Yay. Oh, such a long shift, but. 12 hours is so long. Come in, come in. Good shift overall? Yeah. I can't wait to go to bed. Yeah, let's go sleep. Hope you guys enjoyed this day in the life video. Hope you guys learned a little bit about what it's like to be an emergency medicine resident here at NYP. See you guys next time. Bye.